That was a bad idea. Welcome everybody to the bamboo forest. Today we're going to be trying to dig up the takenoko, the little babies, and then you eat them. There's all different types of ways that you could prepare the food. So this is going to be kind of an adventure. So I love these old style Freddy Krueger. And this is my first time trying this, so I guess you just dig around by the trees and see what you can come up with. Yeah, get a close. Oh, he got one, he got one. It's like catching a fish. <laughs> this one here is a little too big already. It's gonna it's gonna have a big root on it. So these aren't the ones you go for. You need smaller than this. Yeah, it's gonna be really hard. So you need the really soft ones to be able to eat. Looks like a hamster. They got little like soft hairs on them. It feels like petting a cat. You know what you know what this feels like right here. This feels like when you get a haircut, you get a buzz and you go like that. Your hair's about that, that long. That's what this feels like. Exactly the same. Yeah, it's like a buzz cut. It's pretty solid. And can you guess how much these things grow in a day? 15 centimeters, isn't that incredible? That's about like, like that, all right? 15 centimeters, one day, amazing. The big ones are all over the place. The little ones are hard to find. That means we're a little late in the season. That's what it means, so keep looking. This is one of the babies. This is one of the babies here that's grown up a bit, and you can kind of follow it up right there. And look at how they sway around in the wind. Isn't that incredible? Oh, gotta love that, huh? There's some nature there for you. Look at those trees. Blow, blowing in the wind. Yep. So what happens is there's so many of these things that grow that they actually want these removed. They want you to take them out and to eat them because they kind of get in the way of the other trees. So they're very, very strong. But I don't think we're gonna cut this one down. It's not edible. This is already some serious hardwood there. You can actually see it underneath here. You can peel it. See what it looks like. And that beautiful green underneath there. Oh yeah, this thing's already grown up. Guess how old it is? Not even a month. Isn't that incredible? They grow so fast. Look at this. Oh. Feels like I'm in a jungle. A lot of teeming, teeming with life, this place. There it is right there. That's what we're going for. So the roots go this way. That's where you want to get it. Uh, I haven't worked this hard in a long time. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna try to cut it right about here. I think is about the right place before the root. So one shot. Uh, gotcha. Yeah, look at that. Huh? I have to clean it up a bit, but <laughs> smells like dirt. Yeah. Boy. A lot of nutrition right here. This thing is just packed with vitamins. Let's go cut a few more down, and then we're gonna have lunch. How about this guy? That's pretty thick. Dig down, maybe six inches. It should be like that, maybe, about that wide. It'd be a good one, maybe. Yeah, pretty clean. Go for a raw. It's edible. Better cooked though. Yeah, it's got kind of a bitterness to it. <coughs> that was a bad idea. Anybody got any chewing gum? <laughs> Maybe a beer? <laughs> Let's 
Beautiful, look at that. Oh, this thing is just set to grow, look at that. The roots there. Yeah. Lots of nutrition here, yeah. The health is the wealth, this is it. Still very soft. Very soft. That's Girls, 15 centimeters a day, like that, one day. So, see the heat. Next day. I like the big one better. Yeah, definitely this one. A lot more powerful than this. And the interesting thing about the baby bamboo is there's hundreds of ways that you can prepare it to eat. So, what we're gonna do in this video a little bit later is we're gonna go eat different kinds of bamboo. It's gonna be exciting. Stay with us. Yes, success. Baby bamboo. pretty much look the same yeah you can't really miss all this digging is making me hungry you guys ready to eat It's nice. It's kind of uh, it's kind of meaty like, but it's uh, I like the uh, well, definitely barbecue flavor. Just mm. a just a little bit. Mm. Wow. Wow, that is so good. We're in, the, we're in the fire here. Mm, barbecue. It's tasty because it's barbecued. I'm eating a tree. This is fantastic. This is the real Japan. The barbecue is ready. He just pulled it off of the fire. Mmm. He says it's cooked perfect. It's not bamboo. It's not Fish. It's fish. So you skid it. Mm. Oh, ho, 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 ho. Mm. Oh, mm. mm. oh, Oh, okay, here we go. Wow. Oh. Butaniku? Oh, it's just like, it's like pork, like bacon. Oh. Takenokoniku. Mmm. Bamboo meat. Mmm. Who would have thought that you can eat bamboo meat? Oh, God. Oh, 
I could eat this all day. Might have to eat this all day because the van's not coming. Alright, yeah, you can see. It's starting to look like bamboo. It's got the sections. Alright, there's my ride. Okay guys, pop quiz. Can you guess what this is right down here? A good look at it. Go ahead, take a guess. Answer's coming in three, two, one. This is a wild boar skin. Inoshishi in Japanese. Yeah, pig. It's huge. Yeah, so they're around here somewhere, but they only come out at night. They're nocturnal. Rokujukilo. Rokujukilo. You got 130 pounds. So like, and they have the kodari on it. Like here. You don't want to run into one of these things at night. Yeah. Beware of the Inoshishi. Special. He was a half price. Nice, nice guy. Thank you. So here's the harvest, starting out with the little guys. Yeah, there's the grandpa. Look at that thing. Come on, it's lunchtime. Hey, buddy. How you doing? Yeah, this is cool. Come on in. Look at the size of these guys. We didn't get any that big. It's 15 kilos. That's 30, about 32 pounds. The guy's a real man. Sorry. Right, let's go. I think we have a reservation, right? Okay, so here they are. This is the Enos you see. Look at it, it's huge. This is probably, you know, fully grown. Yeah. Huge, huh? The wild boar of Japan. They've got these razor sharp teeth, so if you come up against one of these guys in the wild, you run. Well, cheers, we're gonna start with some asahi. Starting the meal right with some asahi. Cheers. Okay, so let me introduce the food here. This is the bamboo steak. Look at that. This should taste the best. This has gotta be the most nicest cut of the bamboo. This is bamboo barbecue here. I should have some nice flavor. Got some nice sauces there to put on it. This is the sashimi, so this is not cooked at all. It comes with some kind of, looks like jam. It's probably gonna be sweet. This is takikatsu, or cutlet. Okay, generally pork is prepared like this, so it comes with some lettuce. And an orange, hot mustard as well. Okay, moving over here, this is, I'm really looking forward to this. This is the tempura. Yep, tempura bamboo goes into there. Sauce. Over here, this is tsunamono. I'm not really sure how to, it's kind of, yeah, it's a vinegar sort of, yeah, strong vinegar smell. And then this one, this is the type that you usually eat. It's, it's boiling, it's called, um, I forget what it's called. This one is called nimono, or it's like oden style, boiled. That's something else, some sort of mountain vegetables. Same thing, some sort of mountain vegetables, maybe spinach. And then this is the rice. So you've got the gohan. So this is the rice dish, and, and it's also inside a bamboo container. Isn't that cool? You see that? Very cool. The real thing, not plastic. And this, can you guys guess what this is? No meal is complete without it. Can you guys guess what this is? No meal is complete without it. The miso soup. So, bamboo shoot miso soup. You see it in there? Oh, it's hot, hot. There you go. go. Oh, it's delicious. Let's we'll start with this. Oh. So good. 
It's like no other miso soup I've ever had. Yeah, very unique taste. Mm. Tempura. That in there. Not sure what that was. So that was the ginger there. Mix it up. So it's all attached together. It's all like one piece, so we're just gonna eat it in one shot. Mmm. I like it's got a lot of vegetables in it. Yeah. Well. Tastes like a salad. Mmm. That is good. Sometimes there's no napkins in Japan. It's just the way it is. So deal with it. Alright, next, the steak. I like how it comes with a knife and fork. Look at that. Yeah, it cuts just like a steak. Some of the sauce there. There we go. Oh. It's got a basil sauce. Oh. Medium rare. Oh, that is so good. Let's get some more of this. Before it gets cold, I'm gonna have a little bit more. The basil, this dressing on here is amazing. I wish you guys could taste this. Oh. It's like a butter basil dressing. Oh, it's so good. Oh, that is amazing. Tastes, tastes just like a real steak. Tear into the barbecue. I'm gonna eat this with my fingers. The sauce is here. This better. This is much richer, the sauce. This is much more sort of pure. I can kind of taste the charcoal a bit. So this is definitely cooked over an open fire. Let's try the other side. This might be the basil again. Yeah, I believe this is the same. Yeah, definitely. The basil sauce. Incredible. Okay, move it along. This is a plum sauce right here. And I, I think it's gonna need the plum sauce, otherwise it's gonna be really bitter. I'm gonna go for this this one right here on top. Oh yeah, that one. Not much of a smell. Mmm. Mm. This sauce is really, really sour. <laughs> The sauce is making me cry. No, oh, it's so sour. It's plump, it's like ume boshi. It's really super salty. Good though, I like it. Super, super tangy. This is the pork cutlet or katsu. So the way this works is get a little bit of the hot mustard, put that on there. Look at that, and that, that is not pork inside there, that is bamboo. Yes, indeed. Doesn't seem right. And the bulldog sauce. I always talk about this in my videos, you guys. This is the standard tangy sauce that goes on the cup. Healthy amount. Healthy amount of this. Yeah, look at that. Look how yeah, thick that is. So good. Super, super tangy. The bulldog. Go for this slice right here. Look at that, look at this, just falling apart. Yeah. Mm. Mm. Oh. This is incredible. This is incredible. I'm, not, I'm gonna eat it all right now, I think. I'm gonna have some more of this. We're not moving ahead. I'm gonna savor it. Shredded cabbage.
all this takinoko hori that's digging in Japanese hori is making me thirsty. Mm. Beer tastes so much better after you've had a workout. Definitely. Yeah. All right, here we go. This is the main course right here. This is called Teishoku. It's a set menu. And I'm gonna start with the uh, the miso soup. I think I already had some, but yeah. Do miso soup first. It's like kind of milky, almost coconut-like. Kind of sweet. It's nice. I like it better than regular miso soup for sure. Mm. This has also got the basil in it, but with more vinegar. It's more sweet. I mean, uh, sour. It's both sweet and sour. It's got this. This is um, Natsumikan. Summer oranges. They're a bit more sour than the uh, the ones in the wintertime. I like them sour. Yeah. More, more vitamin C. Mm. So I guess this is the equivalent of the salad. Really curious to know what this sort of dressing is. It's soaked in something. It could be sesame. It looks like a really thick sort of dressing. I'm guessing sesame. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Sesame is something else. It's delicious. Mm-hmm. I think it's got some of this in it. They're using this. To season stuff. Yeah. I like my greens. I'm gonna eat all the greens. It just tastes really fresh, like it was picked today. Yeah. Fabulous. Mm. style boil mm. pure mm. very clean taste yeah a little bit of a sweetness to it yeah, nice mm. this bright yellow one these are pickled radishes mm. Mm. Here we go, the last dish. Save the best one for last. Rice. No meal is complete without it. Everybody loves rice in Japan. Except me. Here we go. This is the end. A little bit more. I love rice. <laughs> so pure. I'm gonna have, this is my third serve. I never eat three servings of rice. You guys are getting a treat today. This is my third serving of rice. Oh, so good. And we are done. Let me get a, one more glass of beer here to wash it down. And then I'm gonna rate this meal. Can you guys guess what it's gonna be on a one to six star? One being the lowest, a yup. Six being the highest, a num num num. It's a six. It's, it's the perfect meal. I mean, this, this today was incredible. This is one of the best meals I've ever had. It's unique. I got to do a little bit of exercise first. 
Everything was just amazing. <laughs> Especially the one I liked the best was the steak. I mean, this is just, honestly, it tastes like meat. Fantastic, and the dressing on there is just, this is just. <laughs> So it was a six star rating, that means that I'm giving away to get some snack packs. I'm gonna give away three of them. So the only thing you have to do is leave a comment down below and tell me what you thought of this video. Any comment. Tell me why you watch Eric Meal Time. Anything you like. Just make a comment. Make it heartfelt. Tell me what you want to see in the future. Okay, so I'm gonna make more of these. And I thank you guys for watching. Thanks for giving this video a thumbs up if you liked it and we'll see you in the next video. I'll announce the winners of the three Get Some Snack Packs next week in uh, the next episode of Eric Mealtime, so next Saturday. See you guys later. And now it's time to announce the winners of the three Get Some Snack Packs from my last Eric Mealtime video, which was the Mexican Fiesta. And the three winners are, winner number one, Junsner. Congratulations, finally, you got some. Winner number two is Richard Carter. And the third and final winner of the amazing, brand new, amazing, amazing, did I say amazing yet? Get some snack pack is Ohio Red Flag. So congratulations to each of you guys. Contact me at ericsurf6 at gmail.com and I will get your information and get those snack packs out to you. For the rest of you, go ahead and leave your comment down below. There's also a giveaway going on this video. So yeah, let me, let me know what you think of Eric Mealtime and go to it. Good luck, see you later.